of horse fishing. <laughs> Welcome back folks. We are here for another episode and I am excited to share this with you. So, one of the things I've always wanted to do, I've always drove past golf courses, and I was like, I suck at golfing, but I wonder what they have in those ponds, because they really post no fishing everywhere. And when I see that, I'm thinking they're hiding something. And sure enough, it seems like they might be, because I'm meeting up with hood fishing, entertainment, ivy fishing, exotic life fishing, and we're gonna end up seeing what they're hiding. We're going off to the other coast of Florida. Can't give you my fishing spots, of course. Golfing membership, not required. We're also gonna go visit some HOA ponds. So, before we leave, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the sponsor of this video. The sponsor is Into the AM Clothing. I'm wearing their hat, I got their shirt. Yeah, it's, it's a sponsorship, you get it. I know you're not dumb. My viewers are very smart. Well, anyway, long story short, I like Into the AM clothing because I'm a practical guy. I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes. And their basic tea packages, like the six pack or the nine pack of basic tees, they're nice fitted tees. They're good material. And they only cost around $13.98 per item. So that leaves me a lot of extra money for fishing. I also have their long sleeve shirts and I got these awesome boxer briefs which are insanely comfortable. Uh, full transparency, we got 500 bucks to talk to you guys about this company. However, you guys have been so good to my family and so we're gonna actually take this money and we're gonna give it away to a hurricane victim. So this here is El Burrito Flash food truck. It was a taco food truck that I went to frequently and this sweet lady named Sonia, she lost her food truck, she lost her home and she has little girls to take care of. We're gonna help them out. Oh my goodness, you got the princesses along. So I told you a long time ago that I was gonna try to take care of you a little bit after this hurricane. This clothing sponsor here that I'm wearing right now, they gave us $500. And I got the $500 and I wanted to give it to you guys and it's all cash um, because I love you guys and I want to see your mom get back into a food truck. I want you to end up considering taking only $5 out of this week's budget and consider donating it to her. Inside this bag here, Into the AM Clothing is the clothing company that sponsored me. Huge thanks. I love your shirt. There is cash in here. It's for you. So before we meet up with uh, the guys, I think I'm going to try to surprise them. We're going to pick up some fishing gear. We're going to see if they can actually catch fish with the gear that I'm choosing. It's the Walmart fishing challenge. Check. So we're going to see if we can find some gear. Um, I think I'm going to make the guys use these. Maybe a My Little Pony or like a Paw Patrol. Maybe a Paw Patrol rod. I'm gonna get one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna make them use kids' rods, but I'm not sure which one. Yet. Oh my goodness. Check out this. Look how small this is. I think I'm gonna make Hood Fishing use this to catch a fish. Oh. Getting shiners? Yeah. I probably should get better hooks. Yeah, okay, sweet. So I got IB fishing here in the truck with me. We're trying to keep up with hood fishing and the guys. Like, this, this is the weirdest 
<laughs> like, I couldn't steal his fishing spots if I wanted to. They're so random in the most random neighborhoods. This is truly like urban hood fishing. <laughs> like, oh, we found another pond. He's pulling over. Hood fishing, about to show us how it's done on the kid caster rod. Walmart special. Check this out. There you go. All right, I'm done playing now. I was trying to take it easy. <laughs> you get a bear hook it. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Woo! On the Paw Patrol, Walmart special. Bam. Yeah, we live right over there. Had some Karen over there with her yippy little dogs. You guys shouldn't be here. You guys shouldn't be here. Come on. Oh. Trey! On a monster. Right there, dude. Right there, dude. Right there, dude. Right yeah. 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 Woo! Paw Patrol! Yeah. Woohoo! Ha 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 ha. over there that's harassing us and uh yeah good day fish on oh ha <laughs> ha oh got a big boy on big boy on oh yes Woo. <laughs> Crazy out here. Hood fishing. Thought that this wasn't small enough. Check this out. Micro rod. I can't even see the rod in your hands. It's so damn small. I had to zoom in. Hood fishing entertainment. Let me tighten up my drag. On the hook up. Uh, Woo! Oh, uh, I think I got a snake head. Oh, oh baby snake ah. head. Wow. Yeah. Snake head. These things are, if you guys aren't familiar with these things, man, they'll like crawl in the grass. They'll like go after your dang dog or cat. They're, they're creepy things. These things are obligate breathers and they can actually live out of water for four days. I got them. Get them. Got him. That's a fatty. That's a big boy. After fishing several HOA ponds in various communities, we finally got to a spot where the golf course ponds are. Oh that my was, gosh. That was a big, whatever that was, that was big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was big, boy. Damn. Look it, at the did it? He hit that thing, he popped it. He hit it so hard, he, he snapped that line, too. He snapped the line. 
Damn. Way well, yeah, it thumped up. It could have been a snakehead or something, yeah, but he man. hit it. But he hit Hard. He hit it really hard. A few moments later, we had ultimate redemption. We got this bullseye snake head. The largest one collected in Florida is 31.5 inches long and 9.2 pounds. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> So now we know what it means when it says no fishing. That means big fish. Thanks for watching. Thanks to our sponsor Into the AM and thank you you guys for allowing us to get sponsors so we can help people like Sonia.